Okay, listen up, y'all. This message goes to all our fellow Latinos looking for a man or a girl or mama. Maybe you just want to make new friends. We have the perfect thing for you. Chispa. Have you heard of it, girl? Chispa is the number one dating app for us Latinos. If you are wanting to connect with someone like you, someone who understands the cultura, you need to check this app out, girl. Meeting new people is always hard, especially if you want it to be familia or abuelita approved, girl. Oh my God, yes, girl. It's hard as it is meeting new people. And in my own personal experience, I have always gravitated towards other Latinos because I want someone to relate to our culture, their tradition, the food, etc. I also want our families to like have a relationship too. If I was single right now, I could totally see myself on this app, girl. So if you're single and ready to mingle, go on Chispa and find your Mexican bay, your Salvadorian bay, your Boricua or tu Cubanito. Next time your tia start asking, ¿Y el novio? Or they want to set you up on a blind date, just download the Chispa app to meet the one that you could bring to the next carne asada. And just like our moms love saying, uno nunca sabe, you never know. Something amazing could come out of it and you might even meet your soulmate. So get the Chispa app and tell your single friends too. It is free, y'all. And remember to send us a DM and tell us all about your dates. This episode of Chins and Giggles is sponsored by BetterHelp. Getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. Preparing for motherhood is definitely a change I'm mentally preparing for. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding. Because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. The therapist I'm currently working with, I found her on BetterHelp. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Chins and Giggles today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Chins and Giggles. What's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? Episode 47, what's up, girl? Girl, today is going to be a good ass episode. Today we are playing (laughs) who's smarter than a fifth grader. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Absolutely not. (laughs) From the last episode, I don't think we're smarter than kindergartners. (laughs) Bitch, I was questioning my whole fucking education, girl. Literally that episode. But you know what? We were looking back at that episode and that episode was so freaking funny. So we were like, we got to come back like round two. for who's smarter than a fifth grader. (laughs) But first we're going to talk about our week and talk about everything. Girl, I just want to say, I look fucking crazy today. I feel like my hair is just not it. I actually no. was going to wear something else today. I was like, I had like a like blue on and Myra's wearing black today. So I was like, yeah. you know what? We got to start coordinating Color a little coordinating. bit. So I was like, you know what? Let me pop out my freaking Disney merch. So I'm wearing. I'm like here for it. No, it's but we're matching. It's because now I feel like that spring is coming up. It's like the time where I couldn't actually wear dresses because I was pregnant throughout like all winter. So finally, yeah. and it's still a little chilly. We had to turn on the heater because it's a little, a little cold in here. But yeah, it's so I'm cute though. with the dresses. I love dresses like that. Like on pregnant women, it looks so cute. I love it. Um, we first of all want to say thank you for all of the support because obviously when we filmed the last episode, it was like the day that we announced. So feelings were everywhere. Uh, but we're so grateful. The episode, this was the number one downloaded episode actually overnight it had two, just overnight. It got over 200,000 downloads. Yeah, on uh, on Apple, Apple Podcasts. That's crazy. So thank you guys for all the love. Y'all are incredible. Um, but yeah, let's kick off this week, girl. How oh was God. your week, mama? My week? I feel like your week is probably more interesting than mine. Mine's just kind of like we were at the warehouse. Period. And we actually had like an all concha restock, which is like I the first time that. we've ever done that. We made a shit ton of conchas. And that's what we're working on right now. We started, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're starting to pack everything today. So that's really all the week has consisted of, honestly. And then it. I know you have been like doing some shopping. You got a lot going on this week, girl, which is amazing. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. I feel like I have a lot going on every week, especially with the pregnancy, because I'm like fully nesting, but obviously I haven't been able to update you guys about it. But 
Yeah, you know, just been nesting. I've been nesting. The, even the nursery, we started like remodeling that oh, easily over a month ago. But people just thought we were renovating the house. I'm so glad that you could actually finally talk about all this because, like, the fact that like for the last freaking eight months, you were like your weekly recaps. Like, I'm sure you would go around. Oh, there it. was so many things I wish. Well, I your could whole have life was like revolved around like appointments. It's revolved around appointments and getting stuff done. And it's crazy how now yeah. you could actually talk about it. You but know? the nursery room, it's funny because uh, we had removed the carpet, we um, painted the walls, and we had even bought flooring. But we found a contractor for the kitchen, so the contractor is going to do the floors. So I think. The, yeah, I think they're just going to do all renovations that we kind of just like left halfway because it's a lot harder to renovate things yourself. I think we're learning that throughout the way. So I'm excited because once there's flooring, we can start adding like the crib and all that. My baby shower is next week. So you oh can imagine God, that I'm like, shower, I'm also I need to get invites out today. <gasps> this is being pre-recorded, you guys. I'm not sending out the invites on Friday, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I'm still giving my family a couple of weeks, girl. So I need to like go look for what the fuck I'm gonna wear because I don't know what I'm wearing. I still don't know what I'm wearing. I girl. ordered a dress and I still haven't tried it on. I'm like, <laughs> I know, but it's finally. I think all the feelings are sinking in. Finally, I'm accepting that I am pregnant and <laughs> I'm having a baby shower. And yeah, eight months later, I'm accepting. It. Yeah, no, literally, I feel like I, 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 I even tell my family like up. Uh, like up until now that I'm planning my baby shower, like it hasn't it's feeling real. really real and yeah. hasn't. So it's always like that though. I feel like so up the until, day comes up and until like, delivery, uh, you're like, okay, I'm pregnant. <laughs> like I'm having a baby. Like oh what? My but yeah, that's crazy. So nursery, um, I've been nesting, cleaning up. I've been just deep, deep, deep cleaning. And then it's just kind of hard because, um, my house, by the time you're listening actually, or watching my house is just fully under construction, like ah! fully demoing the kitchen and stuff. Cause we start the ninth. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, That's I'm like exciting, Maria. getting everything outside of the counters, like the cups, everything. And then have and to they will furniture. For sure, they're going to be done right before baby arrives. Ye- yeah. You're like, they better be. Good. I hope so. Because he Bitch. said it should take exactly a month. So they would be done like April 9th and it's pushing it a little bit it's but pushing it girl yeah so i'm like it's okay you know even if i have the baby days after that or a week yeah. or two after that that's perfect i uh-huh. mean it's fine it's like i think it's like perfect timing but i need to make sure that at least i have like the nursery and stuff but anyways i have like so much to update you guys because i even got girl, off the phone yeah. today with um um what are they even called she's like um i have her on my cardiologist contacts. No, that's another topic. Oh, wait. I'm like, what? <laughs> a therapist? Oh, um, um, uh, my my birthing class lady. Ah, you're what are they called? A uh, doula? Is she a doula? Okay. Oh, my gosh. I didn't she's have actually, a doula. She's a, um, she's a labor and delivery nurse at Cedars, too. Oh, my God. Queen. Yeah. I was like, oh, hopefully I run into that's her so that day. That's so cool. I don't think she's going to be my actual doula. She just does, like, classes. That's so, so cool. She's going to come to our house <gasps> and she's going to teach. She was just telling me like, um, you know, so I cool, teach Maya. you like basically like certain things to do while you're in labor. And then I'm sure she's going to teach Brian how to like, you know, That's help exciting, me. Maya. So, yeah, I mean, Dr. Rad requested it. He was like, That's oh, so cool. you know, I have someone that can. Well, when I was pregnant with Mia, I think because like COVID was still so like big, like with the hospitals and stuff. I missed out on like birthing classes and stuff uh, like that. I don't think they had him because I was really like wanting to look into all that. Yeah. I don't think they were doing it. Everything was on pause. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then she even suggested. um well, I don't actually I don't have an option because she uh, she's like really far out. And I told her I was in Riverside. She was like, uh, it's far, you know, but she's still willing to come out. But um, she's coming over and she just she told me like in the next couple of weeks, because it has to be like closer to like your due date. So I should see her like in a couple of weeks. And yeah, I'm excited because it gives me a better uh, so visual, fun. I guess. I mean, she and she's she told me she's like, I'm teaching like. You know, if you were to try to go into natural labor or C-section, like both, you know, I'm going to teach you like the way. That's exciting, though, like having her so, do classes with I'm y'all. I'm so excited. And then I feel like I'm talking, girl, too much. No, no, no. You okay. had a, you had like a really, I feel like you have a lot of topics for this week. I'm telling you, that's why I'm like, y'all, like my week is like, it was the same shit. Like it's just us at the warehouse. That's why I'm like, I want to know about your week because I know 
you have like i'm literally looking at something right now i'm like i'm like okay like <laughs> no. i kind of want to know more let about me, that let myself me. <laughs> yeah before i scare you guys let me tell you and let me show you <laughs> so um you know my anxiety with this pregnancy has been you know I think I have my reasons, right? Yeah. So I never really, because I feel like people always ask me, like, so did you ever find out, you know, what got you into preterm labor? And I never found out. I never got answers. So you can imagine any little thing that I feel or any, I just question my body a lot, you know, like, is my my body functioning the way it should be and all that, right? So I have been feeling very out of breath these days. Like, I need to catch my breath. I feel like, first of all, being out of breath is very normal. Mm -hmm. I want to state that, that it's normal. My symptoms are normal, but because I have, like, health anxiety and all that, it just kind of makes it worse. Mm -hmm. So I've noticed recently I've been getting, like, just a little tired, like, Mm-hmm. doing like the littlest activities like, well you are also have to remember that you are towards like you're in the third trimester yeah so maybe it is common and you are being like monitored by your doctor a lot closely yeah. you get uh you get you checked all the time with everything yeah, yeah. I, I feel like i go mainly for weekly cervix checks but like to check my heart and stuff like we haven't done all that like we've gotten blood work and stuff so mm-hmm. my anxiety kicks in you know i'm like why am i out of breath and um I started getting, I think when I started my second trimester, I started noticing like heart palpitations. Like did flutters. you ever get that when you were pregnant? Um, I did, but I remember it wasn't like something like too common, but I do remember like the flutter feeling. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I was put on baby aspirin. I was put like on an injection blood thinners and stuff. So like, that's kind of like what I contributed to it. Like I would like look it up and I thought that's probably what it was. I feel like slight flutters and stuff are pretty common because your body, you're literally producing so much more blood. Isn't it like double the amount of blood when you're pregnant? Yeah. And then also like your heart is beating a little faster. Like, oh, that's I feel thing. like that's like normal. But I mean, I know that you, you were getting anxiety because you were yeah. getting like you were feeling my your heart, symptoms but are, I think, normal. So I was getting it heart is good, though, that you want to be on top of everything. Yeah, I was feeling. getting heart palpitations and then um, my heart rate was like it's been a little higher. I did notice this with Brian Zito, too. Um, you know, I feel like my my heart rate is usually from like 90 to 100 if I'm doing like, you know, walking and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not resting. Resting, that would be that. Okay. No, but it is like higher than usual than what it would be. And I feel okay. like prior to being pregnant, I have it regularly, like at 70, you know, uh-huh. regular. And I always notice like first and second pregnancy, uh, my heart rate's just always a little bit more elevated, which you Google, it's also a normal that, thing. I noticed that with myself too. Yeah um so yeah like i don't want you guys to think i mean i'm sure y'all think like this bitch is dramatic right so i regular symptoms i feel like my doctor he's heard me out and he's like yeah they're normal symptoms but i feel like i love my doctor because he's never ever judged me for my concerns like any little he wants to reassure you he wants to reassure me so he told me he's like do you want do you want to see a cardiologist you know i know a cardiologist in this hospital a really good cardiologist that can see you and I was like, yeah, so um, I went to a cardiologist literally a couple days ago. That's um, great. Same day I went to get my cervix checked. Everything looks amazing. So I'm there. You know, they do an EKG. It's not my first EKG. It's not my first rodeo show, girl. Let me tell you, I've got EKGs before. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> before man. being pregnant. Th- that's yeah. my health anxiety. Like, like I, any little thing I feel in my chest. I feel like if you watched my vlogs, like if you go way back, like I've mentioned a few times how I've gotten ekgs so um (laughs) right it's just like why do we do this to ourselves so that it wasn't my first time getting the ekg but it was my first time getting an ultrasound and when i tell you looking at your heart in an ultrasound was pretty creepy and you know what that's actually good Mara, because with ultrasound like they see even more in depth in there yes the many times the lady would have me like hold my breath and then like that's crazy huh? like breathe okay hold and then I was like, is this okay for the baby? She was like, it's completely fine. You know, I was freaking out. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bitch, I was out of breath. I was like, I need to breathe. Like, she was having me pause so many times. But, like, that's how they detect, like, how your heart's beating and stuff. So, yeah. um, doctor comes in. I'm freaking out, girl. I'm just like, they're going to find something. Like, You're thinking they're going to find something. Yeah, because it's my first time actually getting, like, an ultrasound. Like, where they're, like, really looking at it, okay. right? And he was like, your heart looks great. You have a regular heart everything looks fine and i was like amazing really like <laughs> like me thinking when i hear horror i was expecting to hear it's horrible like news. with health anxiety health anxiety you convince yourself that yeah. something's there 
And I was telling, he did say, he's like, you know, you, it is working a little harder. It's like pumping faster. Um, and I was just telling him, I'm like, yeah, I noticed like with my, my first and second pregnancy, my heart rate's always just a little bit more elevated. Mm -hmm. Um, and he did say, he's like, it could be a pregnancy symptom too, obviously. Mm -hmm. And you know, you are in your third trimester. And cause I was telling him how I feel more tired and how I have heart palpitations. He's like, this could all be regular symptoms of a pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, I think he also did, like, I was like asking, like, are you sure? You know? <laughs> so he actually, he was like, okay, this is what we could do just to reassure you, reassure you. And, you know, maybe be actually sure that we're not missing anything. Right? And then honestly, Myra, like nowadays you hear so many stories of people I that don't say, even know they have like, like underlying conditions. I was about to say that. And then they go into labor and then a tragedy happens. And I feel like that specifically, like lately, like we did, we did think about it and we were like, we should like, yeah, like, yeah, I was going to say there was a couple scenarios. Have you guys watched the Marios? Um, their friend, it, she went through, I mean, she tragically passed she tragically after passed. giving birth because she had a underlying condition in her heart that she didn't know about. She didn't know about and she had her whole life. Can I say that's, that's exactly what pushed me to get is, that? Huh? That is what pushed you, huh? That's exactly what pushed me to check because I'm I am trying a, you know, to go for a V back. A V back is um vaginal birth after cesarean, right? Yeah, vaginal birth after cesarean section C section. Cesarean section. It's the same thing. Yeah, I can't say it. it's a tongue twister, but I'm trying it for, for a VBAC. So that scared me. And then I started overthinking. I'm like, my heart palpitations, all that. Oh, my goodness. And it must you have know that. What? You might think you're like, I'm doing the most better safe than sorry, girl. Yeah. Honestly, if anything, that really opened our eyes. Like, oh, my gosh, you really never know if you have like underlying conditions for something. And I think that should show everybody like to get checked because yeah. you really never know please get checked and i took that as a sign so mm -hmm. i went to get checked and everything looked fine but um we did put like a little let me show you guys because i literally called? my heart my heart my hair is covering it covering it just so you guys know i wanted to explain first before you guys freaked out freaked out it's just like taped on me what it's is that not, it's like a little monitor so it monitors me for two weeks once I start feeling the heart palpitations, I immediately click it. So they could track it easier. And they track the part where, like, you were feeling that. Wow. And Can I, like, see it? Yeah. So it's literally, like, it looks like a device, like, on your chest, but it's just, like, taped on, huh? And I'm sure, like, it, like, detects, like, any abnormalities and stuff. Yeah, like, if I, um, if I just have heart palpitations, I click it. And it's just monitoring. And they'll be able to like really look into those palpitations to see and, if they're normal palpitations. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. And I like that the doctor too, he wasn't like, oh, you're fine. You don't need it. He was very like, okay, like, you know, we could do this. That's and good. obviously I was like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> and that, I like that Myra, he didn't like judge me for it because I feel like a lot of doctors are very like, you're fine. You know, yeah, and he was no, like, that's amazing. okay, no, yeah. Do you want to? We could track it. And I love that. Like he, that. he did reassure me. I don't want to scare anybody, scare anybody. Like, oh, yeah. even like when Karina saw it, she was like, what is that? I was, I was like, like, girl, what? I had to explain to her first. Even my mom, like I had to cover it first and then explain oh it gosh. to her because when you see it, you're like, is that shit like surgically in her or like how it's Girl, just taped on? I was like, wait, but no, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, literally yeah. just like taped on. And I can't wear anything. Like today I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like my hair has to like cover it. It's okay. I'm so glad I take it off the day before my baby shower, Karina. Oh, Can you shit. imagine bitch me wearing this with my cute ass dress? Like, oh my God. Bye. No, it's fine. But everything That's looks good. good, but like, this is that's gonna give you gonna like the 100 closure, the closure i need yes because they've done an ultrasound yeah. ekg at this point mama I and know. that is now detecting your every beat yes that's got to give you some peace of mind girl yeah for two weeks and it, oh my you're goodness, like it's not so enough right? like, <laughs> no this is enough like i feel like the doctor was very like you're fine um he did you. think my my um he did think my heart rate was like elevated he's like maybe you're dehydrated a little bit okay and i was like i feel like i drink a lot of water <laughs> yeah i don't know i think i was just like giving Nervous. excuse after excuse and he was like let's just put this on you you just want to be sure and after yeah. what you've been through like you're not overlooking anything and that's really good i ain't trying to take a chance girl like yeah of course. i'm just like i just want to be, be sure labor so. is scary pregnancy scary. Is scary and like you never know and 
if you feel like you're being dramatic, you're not. Like you're just advocating for your for a safe and healthy like yes delivery, pregnancy, and everything. So that's good. Yes. I think it's actually good that you're like doing absolutely. That. So it's been an eventful week. That's what's going on. But you know, I'm just so grateful that my heart looks fine, that's and good, we just Maya. have this extra reassurance. And once we get the results for that, I think I can just go on relax. with my pregnancy and relax. And uh, so lots of uh, emotions, I guess. But yeah, super excited. Very eventful week. Yeah. Should we get straight into... I think we should. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I think we should. You guys, Brian has actually been connected to the mic the entire time we've been filming Hi. for the past 20 and minutes. Been- and he's now here. Hey, What's Gorge. good, Brian? What up? What's that? Brian right? talks so like, smooth into the mic. I yeah, think he's really- living his like radio fantasy right now, right now or something. I'm, I'm done. But y'all ready or not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Brian's going to ask the questions. All right. Go off. <clears throat> First question. What is the longest river in the United States? The longest river? Shit. Quit playing. Girl. Shit is not a river. What is the longest river in the United States? I know Oh, my it. God. I think is I know it? it. I Didn't we do projects about it? In the Indiana we, we, River? Huh? Is it the Mississippi River? <gasps> she, said she said Indiana P. She said Indiana. Oh, there was your guys' Oh, man, answer. we're wrong. It, it's the Mississippi River because the M-I-S-S-I is a P- IP or something, and it's like the longest name and longest river, right? I feel like we're wrong. We learned this in school. We're wrong. It's another one, huh? Missouri. Missouri. Who? Who? Yeah, do do <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait how, how far does that go? I don't know. That's just the answer. It's oh. just the longest river? Okay. Yeah. Missouri. They didn't teach us shit in school. So it's not then, the Mississippi no, but you River. Know what? What's the M-I-S-S-I-P? Mississippi like, River? Remember that one? I do remember the whole M-I-S-S-I-S. I think blah, that was blah, just blah. like a long name. Do you remember doing the little projects where you like did it in a shoebox? Yeah. Oh like, my God. Bitch, the creativity. I remember I had like a little Mona and I dressed her up and I had real rocks up in that river. Yes. Oh, I remember. You, you guys remember the little milk curtains? Like we got that colored it like a little house. That's oh so cute. my god, that's so like cute. Into, like a little mission. That's I remember, creativity, bitch. Dude, I remember unreal. one time we had to like draw a river, like talking about rivers. We had to like do a portrait of a river. Well, we had to like draw a fucking river, and I didn't know how to draw. I'm talking like six year old me, bitch. Uh-huh. And um, one of my uh, one of my tios, uh, uh-huh. like he, well, no, just kidding, not my tío. He's my cousin's, <laughs> my cousin's man um he's like super like he was like an artist and yeah. i remember he like drew this river for me and that because me and Lupita both had like <laughs> that class and he drew like these portraits like i'm talking like freaking um como se llama este? i i'm literally like i know his name what the the artist guy Pablo picasso. oh picasso um bob ross i'm talking bob oh. ross paintings <laughs> And us six years old pulling up like yeah we drew this shit bitch, bitch period. like ain't no fucking way we a drew plus, that plus like anyways hold on I just All right. I know I'm changing topics it's not even changing topics this is like really funny and that's how stupid I was growing up about drawing I just what? have to bring it up because there's no other way I would bring it up what? so I remember once we were drawing something like on a like a little art thing and I remember. I had to uh, paint the background, right? Background. Think of a kid when you hear background. You painted the back of the paper. I painted the <laughs> back of the paper, Karina. And she was like, honey, it's the background. I didn't get it, Karina. I was like, oh. And I'm like painting the background. I'm like, yeah. like And the whole fucking, the drawing of the sun and the land, you turn it over, bitch, blue in the back. What the <laughs> fuck? Why? <laughs> Karina. Myra uh, was an actual idiot. <laughs> Karina, no. Oh, no. No. Hold on. So you I drew to make a 3D sun, painting. You drew the sun on the front and everything, and then you put the blue on the back. You know what? I don't even know Bye. if it was blue. I'm clocked out. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Karina, think about a kid. Bitch, I was not taught enough, because who... I... Background, bitch. It's be more specific. <laughs> Sky, no, Greena. I'm okay, done. I don't, maybe I, don't I didn't draw it. Specific than Babe, that. I don't think I drew it blue. The point is that I just you didn't understand. You were intimidated by the teacher. You, instead of no. saying like, "Honey, draw like the surroundings," you <laughs> no. you were intimidated. I and you were like, she was back. like, 
background. It was she, <laughs> she was like the background, and it wasn't clicking for me. I didn't know what background. <laughs> was. I didn't know what Did background it just meant. Make sense to put the sky in the no, background paper. Or what? Me, me, and you know what? Maybe I didn't know I was drawing the sky. Maybe she told me like put the blue in the background, <laughs> and I literally got was like blue paint in the back. Wow. Okay. Oh I know. my god! Can you imagine this teacher. She probably was like sweetie <laughs> and it took me like two three different tries sweetie. to really like understand like <laughs> the background <laughs> Karina. My God, this is the highlight but of you my know day what? but you know what like when do you teach a kid what background means <laughs> what apparently not in like, fifth do grade. you sit with a kid and tell them like how old are you background it means like the that <laughs> <laughs> hold on how old are you she's like um, 14 I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh bitch i got stories to tell and i don't think we Stop. got time today because i'm a fucking little so i think they know the answer we're smarter than the fifth graders um, <laughs> that's it the game is over <laughs> imagine but that damn girl do you remember so, what grade you went i'm just i um, have to be like second grade okay okay you know what i could see myself doing something or like, like i never knew like what tomorrow meant i would be like oh so like when i go to sleep like and i wake up I would explain it like that. That's see, that's like normal kid things. So you're learning. Yeah, because I'm like, did my teacher ever sit down with me and give me the definition of a background? Like you can't imagine. (laughs) Your fault for not teaching me what background means. Well, I I understand. You know why? Because (laughs) me and Myra, our first language was Spanish. Yes, that's our first language. Exactly. And I remember kindergarten being the most confusing shit ever. But, But. we Kinda, learned you know? i got some stories second man. grade though i don't know <laughs> like there was one I like it, freshman all. year i'm really i'm a fucking idiot but we can say freshman it year later. i want to hear this freshman year bitch <sighs> i've been wanting to tell this story in a way because i never knew how to say it you know like when you go to get your classes you know freshman year we're so excited we do you remember that day when we went to go look at our classes tables are set up outside yes like, oh, yes yeah, you know, orientation yeah and um they were like oh you know we have makeup classes makeup classes um you thought actual makeup instead of let me finish my story right (laughs) makeup classes to make up for to make up for i don't know what right credits we're fresh i don't know so maybe it had to be sophomore year then okay it's probably so she was like oh talking about like oh we have makeup classes and i was like oh my god really like how fun (laughs) and (laughs) okay no green up in my I head, get that, I, get I was like, wow, makeup classes, that's so exciting. Because I was like so into makeup. <laughs> Bitch, when I tell you like minutes in the conversation, I caught myself that it was like you were makeup classes. And I was like, you fucking idiot. No, it's okay. <laughs> because I had to be 14 or 15. Okay. It had to have been. <laughs> okay. The it silence had to was loud. Been, it had to have been sophomore year at least, Myra, because they're saying makeup classes. I think they're they're telling you like you need to make up for some credits. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm over here thinking it's makeup. That's so funny. That was a really st- But see, that's I something that myself. I think could happen to even an adult where you hear something think about and them you talking stupid. all serious like about makeup and I'm over here like, "Oh my god, yay." They're probably thinking like, "Why is she so excited about makeup classes?" Oh, that's so funny. Bitch. See, that's something that I've never happen told to that me. story. No, but that's something that could happen to an adult where you feel like I feel like that I've had scenarios like that where I feel stupid as fuck like oh <laughs> no I definitely had my moment so just gotta get that out the way before y'all start judging about this who's smarter than the fifth grader girl because I'm letting you know I'm not that is really funny take it away honey <laughs> alright second <laughs> second question alright second question <laughs> what is the clinical name for the thigh bone like the scientific thigh bone name? yeah what what? What is the clinical name for the thigh bone? Yeah. I wouldn't know femur? that. Femur? I don't fucking know. Yes. What? Yep. Femur. 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 Oh my God. I Karina, fucking didn't just, know that. No, I did not know that. I just remember hearing femur somewhere in fucking. Raul just texted you. He didn't hear. No, I swear. <laughs> I'm I, if there's any bones that I remember, it's femur. And that's the only femur. reason I say femur. Like, I can't name another fucking bone. <gasps> femur just stands know. out it is femur yeah what? that's crazy that's your thigh bone yeah oh shit oh my god i literally just guessed that i feel like that's the only one that clicked like femur i don't fucking know oh damn I that was know purely that a guess i don't actually fucking Do you remember i didn't how many, know like their bones you have in your whole body was in like it's three a lot. something girl it's hmm? a lot I don't need, i'm not even gonna try to fucking what guess. did you say 300 something bones oh, they said 30 something i was like hold up <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of bones huh yeah you have crazy. a lot 
hated school, so <laughs> next time. <laughs> All right. What is a prefix in the word unnecessary? What the fuck Not does necessary? prefix mean? Huh? What is prefix? Yeah, you just have to know. Not necessary? What is the prefix before unnecessary? Yeah, unnecessary. in the word unnecessary. Not necessary? No. Prefix? What does that mean? Un- I don't know. I don't un- remember. Unnecessary. Pre- See, the thing is, I don't know what prefix. the fuck prefix means. What is, what prefix? is the prefix? I just don't Can understand. Can you explain like what prefix is and maybe we'll kind of... Can we get a clue? But that'll give it away. Mm-hmm. Okay, that'd be fun. <laughs> necessary? Is that the prefix necessary? No. Oh, like the opposite? No, that's synonym, right? Antonym. Oh, yeah. <laughs> synonym is like similar. Oh, Wait, right. see, I don't think synonyms and antonyms have anything to do with prefix. I just don't know what the fuck prefix even means. Maybe it's the definition. Un? Um, unnecessary un. is the definition. Oh my God, it was un? Yeah. Oh, Regular word words necessary. Prefix is un. Oh, she. So it was a freaking antonym. What? Myra, antonym means the opposite of a word. Yeah, unnecessary, necessary. He said, what's the prefix? I guess he meant like the un, un yeah. is the prefix but Think about necessary. something that's necessary and the opposite is unnecessary. Huh? Wait, oh my God, my mind All can't All the fifth this. graders right now are having the biggest <laughs> no, no. migraine. No, 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 Listen, no. <laughs> the prefix, he's saying the prefix of unnecessary is the un. This has nothing to do with antonyms or synonyms. I'm just saying if we were doing antonyms. <laughs> what? Okay. It would be unnecessary, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused because it's now. the opposite of hot and cold. What? Karina, an antonym is the opposite. I know, Myra, but he said the prefix. First of all, I, I don't know. even know what that means, but I guess it means like the prefix is the un to necessary. I know I'm saying like it, it's kind of similar to like um, an antonym. I like guess. Yeah. The opposite. I'm so Damn confused. It. I'm really just guessing out here, bitch, and I'm winning. Ah, I'm just hearing. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this one's, I feel a lot of people know this one. Uh, Who painted the Mona Lisa? Mm, um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you this one. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, I'm so confident about this one, and I might be fucking wrong. Mm. Um. Myra, it's like the most obvious name, I think. I know. I'm trying to think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I am so confident, but I feel so stupid because I feel like it's gonna be wrong. No, you know what the thing is about me? <laughs> I don't I'm not good at names. <laughs> okay. No, I swear. No, me too. I could be like bumping a song and everything. I don't even know who's singing. Like, I could know a celebrity of all the movies they've been in and I don't fucking and I don't know, know their name. name. I'm, I know what you mean. It's um does her name start with like an F or a J? Did you say her name? <laughs> what? It was a guy that painted it. I said, does did I say her? Sorry. Yeah. Does his name start with an F or a J? No. Oh. Um, with an H. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> a B C D E R. <laughs> you know what? F-G? And when you yeah. say it, like I'm gonna know it because it's like a popular name. The actual the name starts popular. with like a symbol. It's weird. A symbol? Yeah. Um, the fuck Mona does Lisa. a sim- Come huh? on, Mona Lisa, what the f- No, I'm trying to think Mona Lisa. Like, who Melissa. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Her name's Mona Lisa. She drew Queen. herself. Mona Andy. Lisa. Um, oh, my God. I know this Can name. I just say it? No, or? I know it. It's in the tip of my tongue. Evan? Let it roll out. Go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I- I'm going to know who it is when you say it. And I'm going to feel stupid because I don't think it's this. When you said that their name is a symbol. I'm like, what I'm the playing. Fuck? It, it, oh it, my gosh. Just wanted to trip y'all. Is it more. Picasso or is it my stupid as hell too? <laughs> no. It's not Picasso. It's no, not Picasso. no. I, I, you know what? That's I what know I'm, who I'm, it is. I I'm stupid. telling you, I knew, I know it's not Picasso. It's a, a, a name that is in the tip of my tongue and it's it, not Picasso. It's, um, it's, it's Bob Ross. Shut no, up. No, 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 <laughs> not no. Bob Ross, bitch. Um, he went wait, back I feel so stupid, Mara, because once we hear the name, I'm going to be like, that's what Duh! I'm saying. Like, I'm, I, I'm not kidding. I know like, it's in the tip of my tongue, and I just can't think of it. I wasn't around when she was painted. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> just say it, because I'm not going to say it. Leonardo da Vinci. Oh! I knew it. We are classified as idiots Karina's from like, now on. Leonardo DiCaprio. I knew it. <laughs> I'm just Stop. kidding. The Titanic motherfucker strikes again. No. See, this. I these, fucking knew it. I fucking. 
<laughs> you feel <Gina>. stupid. <laughs> no, that's how I am. Like, I know the name, but I don't know it. I like, just want to say that we're not oblivious to these things. Like, I know if if you gave I don't me like know. an ABC option, I would have known it's that one. Mm-hmm. I really thought it was say. Picasso, bitch. I would have put D. All no, I above. knew it wasn't Picasso. I feel so stupid. All right, y'all ready for number five? Okay. What's right. <sighs> number Ooh. five? Question number five. Number three. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've lost track. Yeah. Um, <laughs> whose whose picture is on the five dollar bill? Mm, um, it is Picasso. No, isn't it George Washington? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I am literally. Isn't idiot. it the first president? I know they all have Bill Clinton. Presidents. What? <laughs> you, stop. Stop. I'm out. I'm out. No, <laughs> Hold on. Who's Bill Clinton? I gotta, go. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> You're like Wait. Donald Trump? No. <laughs> who's Bill Clinton? Wait, but why? Like when you said Bill Clinton, I was like, <laughs> Bill, what the fuck? when you said Bill Clinton, girl, I was like, this sounds about right. You know what <laughs> who's Bill Clinton, girl? The saxophone dude? <laughs> no. Shut the fuck up. Stop. Yeah, he played the saxophone. <laughs> no. Who's Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln? Right. Ah! She ain't that stupid, y'all. I fucking knew it. I am really glad you got that one because I just that didn't. I didn't fucking know. <laughs> so Bill Clinton is not an, uh, a president. No, he was like Clint. what Clinton and Lincoln was for me. It fucked me up. Y'all don't remember the affair? <laughs> it was the Clinton the and, and Lincoln it's that the, fucked me it's up. The clit for me, girl. <laughs> it was it was clit? a clit, girl. I just keep hearing the clit. <laughs> Bill Clinton, like who is that? <laughs> Bill Clinton. <laughs> okay, okay I done. got that right. Oh my gosh! Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> who was the president of the United States before George Washington? Mm. Not playing. George W. Bush. George W. Bush before before D- George W. Bush. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it. I. Uh, <laughs> Was Bush the one? It's getting a little hot in here, girl. There's a lot of Georges. There's a lot of fucking George Washingtons, oh, no? No, no, George Bush. It was it George Washington? George W. Bush. There's too many Georges for It was me, George bitch. Washington. George Bush. Bu- no. Babe, George Washington was like bad. Wasn't it Lincoln? No. no. Oh, my gosh. I don't you know guys are president. thinking about like old hot? presidents. George W. Oh, Bush was oh, just a, a recent bit. president. We were alive when he was president. Yes, I remember. Yeah, I know. He was the president when 9 11 happened. But see, that happened when but I was like, see, this. because we were even like. You guys just mentioned this guy's name Bill Clinton. Imagine. <laughs> Bill Clinton. Imagine is correct. Yes, Bill Clinton. <laughs> so, wait, what? Bill Clinton. Bill yeah. Clinton was, was in presidency own. before George W. Bill Bush. Bill Clinton. You got it right. So mm. when I said Bill Clinton being in the dollar. No. Oh, my God. He wasn't. He wasn't, but it was a president. One more, and I'm clocking out. He was a president. Bill Clinton was a fucking president, bitch. That's crazy. He was. So I, I guess I wasn't off my you rocker a little bit. You weren't that off, yeah. Oh, shit. Bill Clinton. Is that mine or you? I think you got that one. Ah, wow. She's leveled it. She's bossing up. She's bossing up. I don't up. think you guys are going to get this one for sure. Oh, I, I would like, what is that? You know? All right. Okay. What is the capital of New York? The capital? Yeah. Is it Newark? No. Oh, I mean, I forgot. Is it like you're that talking about war- like New York, New York? No. No, no, no. There's like there's a word. It's like Newark. No. Newark. The Statue of Liberty is just <laughs> the statue. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is not the capital, girl. It's a statue. Okay, just making sure. Oh <laughs> no, because wait a damn minute. You know, like they praise her, and maybe she's like. <laughs> they don't praise her. They don't praise her. I'm not saying that. Wait, okay. let me take that back. You know what I mean, though. She's not a saint girl. No, I'm saying like the Statue you know of Liberty is mean. a monument. You know I mean? Okay, she's not like um the capital. I know. I Queens. have her. I'm just getting imagined. Queens. <laughs> like, like, is it Queens? Uh, no. Um, um, I know this one. No. Brooklyn. You know what I mean? <laughs> um. <laughs> I have heard of this one, and it's really random. Like, you would never think. Really? The Bronx? I, no. The Bronx, bitch. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it's not like a major city like that. Like, it's I've, not. I've, I'm telling you, I've never. I don't know. It's called, no, Al- Albany, right? Is that how you pronounce oh. it? Oh. Albany? 
I wouldn't mm. even know. Yeah. That's what I'm Would saying. Never know. Next never even zero. heard of it this until today. Never heard of her. <laughs> the big apple. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Times Square. Like what? <laughs> Times, <laughs> Times Square, bitch. <laughs> that should be the fucking capital. That should be, bitch. All right. Next one. What is body water between Florida and Texas called? Body water between Florida and Texas. Mm-hmm. The body of water between Florida and Texas. Do not say Mississippi River. <laughs> Is that where, like, um, I'm wrong. I don't know it. <clears throat> I'm going to guess the Bermuda Triangle, but I'm wrong. No. <laughs> no, that would be more on the right side. <laughs> That's sheesh. Um, it's not. Is it where it gets, like, hot and cold? <gasps> the Gulf of Mexico. Yep. Bitch. Did I give that out to you? You did. When you said hot, cold. Uh, I should have given you the chance. I was going somewhere. Noise. So it is that one, the girl from Mexico. Oh. Okay. That's where, that's where like, the temperature is, like, shifted? I think. I don't know. Iconic. <laughs> Iconic? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? How many syllables are there in the word Mississippi? Syllables? Mississippi. Four. <laughs> four. Yeah? It's four, yeah. Yeah, you get it right. I let you have that one. <laughs> yeah. It was both of us. Uh, ooh, this one's going to be... You, If you guys take your time, you guys could get it. It's okay. a mathematical question. Mm. Oh, shit. How many times does seven divide into 49? Oh. What? Mm. Oh, seven. Seven? Seven. For Karina. Seven. Seven. Seven times yeah. seven. Okay. Right. So I won. So Myra, you take this one. Wow, Karina, I'm getting good ones. Okay. I'm yeah. shocked. Wow, she's smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> oh, mm, you guys might actually. You guys will both get this, but I feel Karina likes this question, Mario, uh, like a little more. But <laughs> okay. which planet in the solar oh. system is known for its beautiful rings? Mm. Jupiter. Saturn. I'm clocking out. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. Jupiter is the other one. Just kidding. Jupiter is the biggest. Saturn is. Saturn is, Saturn Saturn is known rings. for Jupiter its rings. Jupiter is the biggest, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. You got me on that one, girl. <laughs> how many sides does a quadral angle have? Is that how you say it? Mm-hmm. Quadral angle? Oh, okay. No, quadro. Quadro. Yeah. Quatro. Eight. No, that's an aqua. No. Is it eight? That's octagon, no? Quadro One, angle. Two. See, it's giving four, but there ain't no fucking way it's a square. It's eight. That's octo, Maya. That's octagon, yeah. You said quadro what? Twelve. Quadro angle? Fourteen. Twelve. Twelve? Me. Fourteen? No. Four. Quad. Four. So it is four. A fucking square? It didn't make no fucking sense. Because quadro, when you say quadro, I'm like cuatro. It yeah. always goes back to Spanish everywhere now. But like it didn't make no sense because I was like, that's a square. You couldn't say square. <laughs> See, it, I, it, that's part I of the had question. It, is I, that what it is? I had it in the bag. You know what I thought it was? I thought it was like the um like the diamond. And so it's a fancy now. word for square. Um And they're yeah. really doing this shit out to the fifth graders to say it's a fucking square. But like, like, like when so in your life does it be like, hey, look at that quadro angle over there? Like, no, look at that square. Like, like what the fuck? First of all, Come on, when the fuck pain. have we ever used E equals MC squared bullshit out in real life? That's why I'm like, I don't give a fuck what well, pi means, bitch. When am I going to use <laughs> that out here confusing the children? Just say a fucking square. Well, <laughs> I feel nah, like, but you know what? Mm, okay. People it, might de- use it depends it. because say someone like Elon Musk, he's like all of that. I use it daily. Okay. You're right. For but us, it's like a bro, fucking rocket the- science. Okay. Like, exactly. 99% of the world is not Elon Musk. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like that. Well, I mean, some people will use it like if they use math, but like why don't they just learn that in college instead? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I know. I think regular math we all have to never mind. I'm not going to say I sound stupid at all. Right I think in school they should teach about business, not Teach us how to do our fucking taxes. That's what real. we cuz then when you start doing taxes, you're so confused. Ah, that part. All right. Which unit of measurements is Pretty much the little OZ. Mm? The OZ. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know this. I know it. No. Ounces. Myra? Oh, OZ is ounces. 
I know it because it's on your candle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were doing math. I was like, OZ, bitch, what is that? You're like, pi? I was mm-hmm. like, I thought it was like when the when the number is like that, that, and then. Yeah. I was okay. Like, what is this? Okay. So in the initials of the federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? Mm-hmm. I thought it was just NASA. Uh, isn't it national? That's an A. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, oh, agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I'm just thinking national <laughs> air, <laughs> aircraft, no. aircraft. So the A for the first A for NASA. It is aircraft. Isn't national air? aircraft. Isn't it aircraft? Air. National association. Andale. No. Oh, Air. I'm trying to wor- think of a word for science with, I mean, a word for space with a uh, astronomical uh, astronaut, astronaut, <laughs> no. close, but no astro astro a little further of that word. As. I'm just kidding. <laughs> as. Yeah, as. It stands for national asses suited astronauts. What the fuck? Bitch, I thought I got it in the bag. I was like, period. I was like, what's the word astronaut? I was like, wait. <laughs> no, think of that word astro, but just a little not the longer. Astronaut. Astroblast. Astronautical. Uh, nope. Astronautics? Astronautics? Bye. That's what it is? Yeah. It's an astronaut, girl. No, it's just not. Just give it to me. Mara, astronaut is like an astronaut. Astro is different. Astro has to, it's like a more vast word. Astronomics? You said? He already said it, yeah. Yeah. So it has to do with astronaut space yeah <laughs> Myra. who walks Astro? around saying astronomic though Come no on. but astronaut and astronomic astronomic sounds like it's Astrono- different astronomical astronomical it, it's different from astronomical or whatever he said it's different from astronaut it's astro that is like That's vast weird. not is what makes it astronaut mm, period i don't know so we didn't get none of us got that one well I didn't major in space, so. Uh, <laughs> um, this one, I don't think you guys will get it. It says, what, what, age, what ancient civilization built the Machu Picchu? Machu, Machu Picchu complex in Peru. What's a Machu hmm. Picchu? I could give you guys forever, like this. I don't know. Ain't it. going down. I done. I'm not going to. I yeah. don't know it. I don't think this is fifth grade. This, this got thrown in there randomly. <laughs> Same fifth grade, girl. <laughs> But it's called the Incas. Okay. Yeah. See, I would never know that. Mm-mm. Okay. After today. It's a cool fact. I'll never even remember it. I will never remember after no. one minute from now. Ask me again. I don't know. Mm-mm. I'll be like, you know the Incas? You'll be like, what? Mm, never heard of her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what type of animal can live on both water and land? Well, well, <laughs> wait. Oh, it's oh, no, a, a mammal. A mammal. No, not what animal, but mammal. what type of a mammal. mammal. No. Is it a fucking <sighs> crocodile? No, no, not that specific oh, animal. Damn what type? It. Mammal. No. Because like whales are mammals and like they live in the water. And land. and we're mammals. Mm. So we're talking about like a species here, Crocodiles. not just like what are they called? Like I thought they were mammals. Yeah, no. Amphibians. Shh. Ding, 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 ding. Yep. What? <clears throat> I didn't even know that word. It makes more sense because those are. What the fuck is an amphibian? Is it? Because that was a guess. A turtle. OMG. Or tortoise. Oh, shit. So, how are we mammals with whales over there in the ocean? This is. See, this is deeper. I don't know, girl. Mm. Amphibians was a guess, bitch. I didn't even <laughs> know that name existed. <laughs> All right. Damn. <laughs> I'm all the, impressed. No, dude. I'm done. The interior angles of a triangle always sums to what degree? Oh, I know this one. 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees. No. What the That's fuck? a right angle. Wait, 180? Yes, 180. Ah! 
Uh, I remember that. Nah, because I really was confident in 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 90s? It's, 90s like this. Yeah. That's a square uh, again, bitch. That's not a square. <laughs> no, but like if you combine a, a bunch of them, they're square. <laughs> like if, you combine, of- if you combine two of them <laughs> like this and like that, it's a square, no? Oh my bitch, gosh. I don't know. Yeah. Again, I didn't know, major winning? in fucking triangles. Imagine those. <laughs> who cares? Next, imagine. <laughs> Karina, who's winning? Me or you? I don't know. Me or her? At this point, you know what? Anything under a C is failing. See, y'all both losing. <laughs> I like this game. It's fun. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> okay. What force pulls objects towards Earth? Gravity. We know that one. Gravity. No. You gotta read the. Ha, rest. We're playing. No, Stop playing, playing games. I'm playing, I'm playing. I was like, "Stop, <laughs> please." We, we, have we don't want to accept that morning girl. Imagine. <laughs> okay, how many? Oh, this kind of goes back to the previous one. Not this one, but earlier. How many syllables are in the word creation? One, three. Yes, three. How'd you get one, Myra? <laughs> did they ever teach you in school when they were like, like every time you say it, creation? Oh, you know, Karina. Yeah, no. I, yeah, we did that one in the other one, but creation just sounds like one word. I mean, one <laughs> creation. Well, it's not a sentence. Creation. Yeah, I was thinking. Cre- like, but you always have to like creation. sound it out. Yeah. Creation. A shun. Yeah, we're doing it like that. It's three. Well, I could just say Karina. But creation. it's Karina. Creation. Karina. Or creation. What the fuck am I saying? Creation. <laughs> Cre- no, but creation. You could do that with every word, but you have to creation. sound it out. If you sound it out, My creation. Because right. you could, because you could think like Myra. You're like, well, Myra, but it's like, no, sound it out, Myra. Creation. Yeah. Just creation. don't cap too fast. Creation just sounded creation. fast in my head, but okay. Yeah. I All feel right. you, girl. I get it. Oh, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys have to know this one. I think we've actually asked you guys this one before. But the Statue of Liberty was a gift from the, to the U.S. from where? Statue of Liberty. I do remember you guys asking us this question, yeah. and I don't remember. <laughs> <gasps> I think I actually She's like, got it don't right. Don't remember. Don't care. I think just... I remember getting it right. You did. You did. But I don't fucking know anymore. I'm telling you, like, I, well, that was probably a guess. Yeah. You're like Elon Musk. It was just gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Was what's it? your what's your just whatever yeah, Paris, I think it was it was Paris. Huh? It was France. France. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, I did remember. Yeah, yeah. Goals. What about what was the ancient civilization that built the Machu Picchu? Whatever place. Nope. I still forgot. I forgot already. <laughs> I literally forgot already. <laughs> I told you I forgot already. Yeah. All right. What do you call a scientist who studies rocks? Shit. Anthropologist. No, you call him a loser. No shame. Stop. No. <laughs> <gasps> a fossilist. Fossil. Something fossil. No. Oh, that's bones. They find that's fossils. what they're mm-hmm. called. It's not anthropology. Mm-hmm. What the fuck does that anthropology mean? Think. I don't know. Jurassic Park. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's a know, fossil. Just, no, I know, but I'm sure they have those people there. But <sighs> I know this word. Can't if I, think of anything. If I heard the word, I would know it. Yeah. Sometimes they find things and they call them gems, maybe. I don't know. Mine? No. Mm. That was a good, a good They guess. study rocks? They'll call them geos. Geologists? Boom. Got that it. was a fucking dead giveaway. I know. <laughs> and you didn't get it. I know. I didn't get it. <laughs> I was still, I thought you meant like a geode, like when they find a geode or some shit. All right. What's the largest and deepest ocean? In the world. Mm. I don't know, but it gives me anxiety. The Atlantic? No. The Pacific? Yeah. Oh, is it the Pacific? I think the Pacific is the biggest. Atlantic is, is the coldest, I forgot. Is it? I don't even fucking I think know. so. Is that where Titanic was? That trips me out how deep the ocean is, bitch. Like when they, yeah, that's why I TikToks? fucking don't know. I don't want to fucking know. And you I know don't they care. show the TikToks, they'll be Seriously. like the Eiffel Tower, and they'll show like that's like fucking don't. nothing. Mm-hmm. And you're like, bitch, I don't want to know I what's can't under see there. the ocean in video. Like, I will skip it. Well, the I, fact mortified that we haven't even explored ocean. all the ocean, that's like... The fact too, that there's more deep. ocean than land, bitch, is like, I just don't, don't want to know. It. And then, like, I'm the kind of person that when I go to the beach, like, it's cute and all, but if I, like, I have to not think about it. Because if I look out into the ocean, like, I will get anxiety. No, I can't do the ocean. No, you know what's funny? Just really quick. 
like Myra's the same way, you know, like in the middle of the ocean, she's like, I, I can't do it. But when we were in Miami, woo, completely forgot in the middle of the ocean. She on a fucking boat. Shark right by up, her. Even. Nope. Well, when we went to our honeymoon for Bora Bora, like oh, that yeah. was the scariest. It was snarkling. Beautiful. During the day, no anxiety. It looks gorgeous. It looks like literally like turquoise. Beautiful the unknown blue. is anxiety. That part. At night, Myra, being in the middle of that fucking run of island. No. I remember like, please, the, the slides of like the, like the way those are built. Like it was like the sliding door and it was like, uh uh-uh. uh. I remember like stepping out and like, I mean, that's just beautiful, Myra, but I would be more Just mortified. black. Like you could see the stars, but everything just black. Ah. And like no end, no end at all. Oh, like shit. you're in the middle of this island just floating. Oh, so oh, scary. We're playing. I feel like the unknown is what gives me anxiety because when we went snorkeling uh, in Cancun, mm-hmm. I remember like just floating on top. It looks mortifying. When you start looking in, like seeing what the fish is see, you're like, oh, it's okay. not as scary, huh? It's beautiful. No, I remember. No, I'm like, Hawaii. I want to get all the way to the bottom. And eh? when you snorkel too, though, you go to areas that are not that deep, and you're like, this vast ocean, like, how's this like not that deep right here? It's, it's actually so, cool. so beautiful. It's beautiful. And but you do have like that little like anxiety lingering, but you try not to think about it, huh? You're just taking it's like it in. good adrenaline. Yeah, I remember Raul actually swam with the fucking sharks, and that's when you went to like the because oh, because no. Bora Bora is mostly like that beautiful like clear blue water. I remember they took us on a boat though, like for the sharks, Hell and that's no. like, bitch, those waters were like deep didn't blue. Did you see how you were the only one like that didn't get out? Guys, the boat? it's so funny. Like literally, everybody on this boat was like, let's, because they took took us on this thing. We went to go see like the the stingrays and all kinds of stuff, and then we went to go see swim with the sharks. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I was the only mm-hmm. fucking person out of like twenty people on that boat that did not get off the boat, <laughs> and like they kept asking me like, "Are you sure you don't want to?" Am I fucking sure I don't want to swim with the sharks, bitch? Absolutely not. I was the only bitch on the fucking boat. Raul was in the water with the sharks. And I remember seeing Raul, like, sharks swimming around him. My, my anxiety was just, I know that they're, like, technically, yeah. like, they're all <laughs> taken they're, care of, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think they're even tracked, they're, like, the animals No, but I think those there. are also, like, baby sharks. Because they, they got... Were so ugly. ugly. Yeah. And Raul says that he would, like, see, like, like, see the shadows around him. I would see the shadows around Oh, my God. It was, like... I just remember them trying to convince me. Like, everybody was like, it's not that bad. I was like, ain't no fucking way I'm getting in that water, bitch. I don't know where someone's ringtone. Stop. No, and that water was, like, actually dark. I was like, no, bitch, I can't. Uh, this is too much. Hell no. I can see the shadows. Absolutely not. Fuck Mm -hmm. no. Nah, it ain't gonna be me. Nope. All right. Which blood type is known as a universal recipient? Um, Be positive. I literally just had it. Any guess? I be have positive. I, I think know, I fucking Karina, have the. Guess. I have that blood type, like where we everybody have, could receive it, but like you cannot. You could only receive your specific blood type. Yeah, that'd be positive. Oh my gosh, I literally know it, and I have a huge brain fart right now. We'll go with Myra's answer. It's not that though. It's not. C po- C ne- B B negative. No. No. It's a B. Oh. Oh wait, I don't have that blood type. Oh, no, we don't have that one. I know what you mean, though. But be positive is a blood type, huh? hmm Yeah. I think that's what we have, I think. I forgot what I have. Oh, my gosh. Mm. We have to have the same one. You know we do. <laughs> I forgot, though. <laughs> All right. The first Thanksgiving was celebrated by Native Americans and what other group of people? The first, huh? The first Thanksgiving, the first Thanksgiving was celebrated. Native Americans. Mm-hmm. And what other group of people? And the pilgrims, ding ding ding. Yeah, mm-hmm. ding 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 is correct. Pilgrims. Damn, I mean, awkward. <laughs> Shit, when you're talking about taking it back, we all know Thanksgiving, girl. <laughs> I know it ain't a good thing, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, from which country did Mexico gain its independence in the 19th century? Mm, I, we had to notice one time we went to a tour of it, remember? In Mexico. From which country? France. No. <laughs> I know it ain't the fucking US, right? I thought it was France because that's when they came, remember, for the say, war? Say, as some Mexicans, they're also, they're like, oh, I'm part. Fran- French. No. Spain. Spaniard. Spaniard. That's fact. what was confusing me. The Your guys' relative, the, they're the like Spaniards. Spaniards. I think our great great Spaniard. grandpa, <clears throat> he came in the war. He came from Spain. One of our grandpas, I think it's great grandpa, something from Spain. 
Yeah. Fun fact, you guys, on my dad's side, um, their great grandpa is from France, bitch. So we got some French in us, bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you got confused with the French and the um I I don't know. Yeah, but I think is. yeah, isn't that crazy? Y'all? I we know what we should do. We have to do the twenty through twenty three and me. me. We do I would that love would be to a see. good episode. Imagine us finding out that we're not identical, that we're fraternal. That we're fucking not related. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop. No, we should do it. Because I want to like, learn more. Stop playing, bitch. I'm done. You guys find out you're actually Maya and that's Karina. Girl, stop Hello. playing. I'm done. That's another, that's another mystery. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. What are the three branches of the United States government? Three branches of the United States. Legislative. By Legislate. I think I had this one last time. <sighs> Legislation or legislative? Legislative is one. I'm digging in my memory. Have I ever like used this knowledge in my life? No. Nope. But I've heard it. Yeah. Congress? No. Mm. Mm. I'm not even going to try for this one. <laughs> Do I care? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not going to try it. You get an A plus for not giving a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't know what. Judici- judicial and executive. Mm-hmm. Which war was don't fought? Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Which war was fought between the North and the South regions in the United States? <laughs> what? The Boston Tea Party. You're kidding. Oh, my God. You're kidding. Is she right? (laughs) Literally stupid. I'm sorry. How do you know that? No. Oh, my God. (laughs) I (laughs) created the couch. (laughs) I just felt it move. Imagine just (laughs) collapsing. The French Revolution. It's World War III. Yeah, it's getting. (laughs) No. Remember, it's in the United States. Oh, my gosh. So think of what do you call someone that lives in the United States? A soldier. Oh no! I'm citizen, thinking, a citizen. I'm talking about the war. I'm sorry. Something like that. A Sin. citizen, but what do you? Civilian. Privileged. Imagine so what, civil war. There you go. A civil mm. war. Jeez. I told y'all I knew this shit. <laughs> <laughs> knew it like the back Come of my on, hand. Come on, French Revolution. Imagine like what? <laughs> it's not literally French. Oh, or imagine like what? <laughs> All right. What city in the world was the first to be attacked? With a atomic bomb. Oh China. my gosh. China. We said oh, this city. shit last the time. City. Is it the place that Korea? still is not livable? It's Korea, mm-hmm. right? It's um <clears throat> Korea. No, it's a place in Japan. Um Hiroshima. 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 There you go. Uh which I was yeah, going to say sashimi, but I think there. that's sushi. Like, I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck is wrong with my brain right now? Like, I really was, like, messing it up with that. Like, <laughs> Hiroshima, yeah. is it, That place is literally it's radioactive still, to this day. Yeah, Like, Damn. it's a ghost town, bitch. Talk about, like, abandoned, like, places. That's crazy. Whoa. I think you, it's not livable. No. Oh, so it's just nobody like, lives it, there? It's the radioactive. No, way the radioactive, it just, no. So it's completely abandoned. I wonder if it'll ever be like civilized again. And that's a whole new world right there. Oh. Wow. It's crazy. All right. Um, where was I? Uh, what is Rose Parks most famous for? She went to the front of the bus. Yeah. Um, yeah, she did. Yeah, that yeah but she stood refusing up for- to give her seat up. Yeah, yeah. refusing yeah, yeah, yeah. to. All right. How many letters are there in the English alphabet? Me off ass A B C D E G. Twenty five. No. A B C D E F G. Oh, you got to count. L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y. Twenty six. Yes. This song is too fucking long for me. Isn't that crazy how they made it into a song? Like that's ABC, really the only ABC. reason we Do could you like hear how it. they just changed it up. Like it didn't like doesn't like Z come before Y now? I'm like, quit fucking playing, y'all. Stop. Why? Something like that. That sounds why like- make it complicated? Why fix something that's not broken? I don't get it. The alphabet? Like what? Yeah, it's like a different song and like it's like the letters are switched. I don't know. 
Don't quote me. I saw it on TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> no, A teacher was talking about it. And I was like, quit fucking playing. Why are they doing this to us? I'm like, I don't even know what freaking song to teach, sing to my children anymore. Like, what? I don't know, girl. That's funny. Y'all ready? <clears throat> okay. All right. What is the term for a word that is similar in meaning to another word? We just spoke about this, Myra. Mm-hmm. Antonym. Synonym. No, synonym. Synonym. Yep. Not cinnamon. Synonym. synonym. Yeah, they're on top of your coffee, noob. <laughs> <laughs> what is the... You guys are going to get this one. What is the term or the word that opposite... Antonym. Yeah. Antonym. What is the city in the White House located? What is the city... Wow. In what city is the mm. White House located? Washington, D.C. No. What the fuck? No, I'm playing, yeah. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, I knew that one. <laughs> no, I knew that one. Blazer. <laughs> yeah, I've been new. Uh, no, I knew that one, but I used to think it was in Washington. Like, actual Washington, but it's um, not. That always fucked me up. Yeah. yeah. Like, like uh, Portland, in Washington? Like, Washington? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wait. <laughs> Oregon. Oh my gosh. Wait, see? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Which state is called the Lone Star State? Lone Star? Mm-hmm. Like lonely? Lone Star? Lone Star. <laughs> Fuck, I don't care. I don't know. Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> Lone Star. Think, uh, yeah. How's it do Think with what? Stars? Think of a football team that has that. Mm. I don't fucking know. No, oh my god, were they recently there? Okay, this place is right next to the us. The Cowboys, like, right? Uh-huh. Nevada. Texas. Yeah. I fucking knew it was Texas. You know what? There is like stars on Texas, Texas all the time, huh? They put like a star. That makes sense. <laughs> Everything's, bigger. Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> we should have been born there. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> I like Texas. Texas is a fucking vibe. I can't do it. It's too far to Bitch, drive. Bitch, have over. y'all ever went on Zillow and looked at houses in Texas? Bitch, I'm about ready to pack my fucking bags and buy a mansion out there for ten dollars. You know what <laughs> It literally like you look at houses on Texas and you're like, "Bitch." I've tried convincing no, y'all. Yeah, I literally when, send my family yeah, pictures when, when like, "Look Mara, at these like, houses." We're looking for a place. We're just like, "Oh, let's see other states. Ew. See how it is." We looked at Texas, Arizona. I'm like, "Huh?" You look at like these, and then they're like all so beautifully built too. But I'm like, think about ah. the weather. <laughs> That's why we stay out here. It's girl. hard. I feel like if you're born and raised there, like that's iconic, yeah. you know. Like it's just. But I feel like when you're like we're, we were born here in California, Southern California. We were born. When, we were literally like born and raised in the IE. So for us, Riverside, I'm like, I don't see the point of fucking leaving. Yeah. Like LA is close enough. But like, I feel like if moving from state to state, that's gonna be fucking hard. No matter oh, how yeah, cool the state really... is, that's gonna be hard. Mm-hmm. What is the name of the body of land that is? Completely surrounded by water. You know what? A, a lake? An island? <laughs> yeah, island. Oh, a why? Lake. A lake. Huh? Because it's a body, of, body, of, body of water said body surrounded of body by of land. Of... That's a fucking lake, girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a damn fucking continent. It's a damn me. puddle. Just... <laughs> no, like, for real, it's a fucking lake. No, like he's saying a body of said body land, of land surrounded, surrounded by, by water. water. An island. Oh, a body. Mm, I was thinking the opposite of it. Yeah. <sighs> damn land right there. <laughs> island. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn. The United yeah. States and Mexico are separated by which river? Mm-hmm. It has a Spanish tone to it. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Spanish tone? Mm-hmm. Rio... Rio, Rio Grande? Mm-hmm. You gave it away when you said Rio. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Um. <laughs> how long does I give up, man. <laughs> how long does it take for Earth to orbit once around the sun? A uh, year. Yeah, 365 days. Days. That's crazy. Yeah. Congratulations. You guys scored uh, 30% out of 100. I'm done. Sorry, is that the, was that the last one? Yeah. Oh, mm. this game is so fun. That was fun. Uh, I but think hey. we did better this time than last time. For we sure. did better this time. Mm-hmm. We're more woke this time. Um, I think some of the answers were a little questionable. <laughs> just a tad. <laughs> I think they were good. I, I just feel like fifth grade knowledge is just like, I feel for like, what? like dead ass. Like when you're teaching, have you ever had a kid come up to you and be like, help me with my homework? And you see it and you're like, 
Bitch, I don't even know this. And you're like, I literally don't recall. Mm-hmm. Like dead ass. Yeah. There's just some stuff that you learn when you're in school and it will just fucking never come in handy again. And you forget about it. I feel like. I, and, and do they all guide you through life? No. Why? Yeah, there's some of them that I'm like, okay, this is definitely. Pointless. I think about history and I'm like, okay, that's just us being she's muscles. <laughs> no, it's not. Right? Well, if you see it that way, it might actually make his history more fucking interesting. I mean, no, actually, no, you kind of pay respect for like things that like have history happened. like has molded. Now. Actually, it's molded into what it is now. Just kidding. No, yeah. I was so bad at history. Like, I was really bad at his. I feel like as an adult, I've had more interest in certain subjects. But but for me, it's never made sense. Like if so, if I fail his if I fail history class and I flunk because of history class, like I'm being held accountable for not knowing the past. That's fucking. <laughs> that's weird, right? <laughs> you know what? You made a, you're making a good fucking point. It's fucking like okay. I didn't like, know. Okay, it's in the past. Here like. Go, uh, <laughs> Like, like y'all getting mad. Sit in the past for a reason, day. girl. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, I never I liked history. That. I never really cared for it. And I never understood why I had to pay for that because I didn't like it. But it is really good knowledge to have because it's, it's what good knowledge to have. The now. Should it define you flunking? No, I never flunked, by the way. But uh-huh. should it define somebody flunking or not graduating because they failed history? I don't know. That's kind of tragic. That, you could say that with everything, though, because like. I think it's more about I don't fucking know actually. Like you should re- you really are gonna be held accountable for not knowing something that happened centuries ago. Like damn, bitch. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? I don't know. What was your favorite like subject in school? Did you have one that you were like, I'm just really good at this subject? Mm. You know, it was just like elective classes, like art and like parenting skills. It was never like the real subjects. Oh. I hated math. I hated, hated. math hated history i remember there was like a math class i mean you had together i think it was senior year or junior year Uh and i remember every day going into that class and myra would be copying my fucking homework i don't know how i got through school like i have nightmares sometimes like i would copy (laughs) and i'm like this didn't i didn't learn a thing like (laughs) i literally remember i don't like like Menina, my little sister, we call her Menina. Jasmine, she was telling me the other day how she's like scared because she's like, I'm so behind and I don't know if I'm going to graduate. I'm like, Jasmine, if I fucking graduated, like if I graduated, bitch, anybody could. I think it's more like. I don't know how you're I did. Not, I think it's more like people are not paying attention because I had my era for sure. I freshman and sophomore year, I did so horrible. Like I yeah. felt so many classes for me. Senior year and junior year was just catching up, catching up, catching yeah. up those makeup classes, literally. And I just knew I was like, this is it, bitch. I need to catch up. And that's why, like, I was like, I need to get it together. And I started just paying attention. This is the thing. And that's all that got me through it, bitch. There is a difference of not knowing and not caring. Like, I t- when I tell you, like, yeah. I did not fucking care for that class. And you could tell me, like, read the sentence to me. And that I just wouldn't care. That's the thing. Like, you can't just be like, well, I just don't get it. It's like, no, you're just not paying attention. Like, because I remember, like, when it came to the like, junior or senior year. Like, I, I, the I, subject just doesn't interest me. Yeah. And I just remember, like, okay, I'm going to pay attention now. And, like, math became so easy after that. After I started paying attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really. Actually, you know what? Bad. Math wasn't, like, my least favorite. I mean, I, I didn't. I don't like math she was like all right numbers don't excite me bitch numbers give me anxiety like looking at like math I'm like, changes you because now i'm really into history and back then i just didn't care i don't like problem solving like that there's people that like problem solving with math like really like gets them going like you know it makes them excited i feel stuff. like what stands out to me is like um the elective classes uh-huh. i like now as an adult like i don't know i loved art class art class i liked art class too loved it i loved art class we've always had a little bit of that in us somehow uh-huh. like creativity i loved it yeah and you know i took um uh it was like a class it was um video production i took that too and i think it's what pushed me to do youtube which is funny because video production for me i didn't really like i didn't have that much fun with it i loved it we were editing videos 
we were filming music videos and everything. I remember that. Yeah. And I yeah. didn't really like care for it. <laughs> I remember I didn't and like I loved it. I, I think that was like my, that's when I knew that I was like into production and stuff like that. I mean, vlogging has nothing to do with that, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the cameras and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. Wow. Anyways, that was a fun episode. Mm-hmm. We really got to. So are we smarter than fifth graders? Probably not, but that was fun. I liked it. I like games like that this. That was really fun. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed this chill, relaxed episode. Us trying to answer some questions. I had a good laugh. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that these episodes do air on Apple Podcast on Thursday, basically like Wednesday midnight, which is basically. Yeah. If you guys want to like, you know, get on it. If you want to get on it before you catch up. Friday. Yep. And then Friday you get the visuals on YouTube. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.